Welcome to DVCom Technology. In this lab, I am going to show it to you task number 12. Let's go and see the task number 12 for configuration of IVR. So basically the IVR is nothing but interactive voice response. So whenever somebody calls to your office, immediately that IVR is start playing. Then after that, it's automatically route your calls to different, different extensions. That's what I'm going to do it now. So first of all, I'm going to show you how to create your own custom prompt. Then after that, how to associate that custom prompt to your IVR. This is what I'm going to show it to you. So first of all, log into your PBX, which is admin and the password. To create the custom prompt, go to the settings, then click on voice prompts. Then after that, go to the custom prompt then record new and you can able to record your own custom prompts of any one of your extension. Let's say I'm going to forward call to 102. Then I'm going to say welcome the name of this prompt then click record. Now the phone is going to ring from there. What I can do, I can able to record my own prompt. Please start recording your prompt after the tone. When done, hang up will press the pound key. Hi. Welcome to DVCom Technology. If you know the extension, please dial it now. Press 1 for IT, press 2 for sales. Thank you for calling DVCom. Saved. Goodbye. Now you have successfully saved. Now what you can do, you just go to next tab, like music on hold, like I'm going to do some refreshment. So that's why I selected the next tab and again come back to your custom prompts. Now you can able to see it. Now in case if you want to listen what you recorded, just click on play and it will ask you through which extension you are going to record. Let's say I am going to record through 102, then click play. Answer that. Hi, welcome to DVCom technology. If you know the extension, please dial it now. Press 1 for IT, press 2 for sales. Thank you for calling DVCom. That's it. Now what I am going to do, now, this custom prompt, I'm going to associate to my IVR. For that, go to the call features. And if you see here, there is a IVR. So the default number for IVR is 6500. So whenever somebody calls 6500 from internally, you can able to listen your own IVR. Let's see here. So click on edit. Then after that, there is a prompt over there. So I'm going to select the prompt, welcome prompt. Then after that, go to the key press event. So whenever somebody press 1, it has to go to IT. So I'm going to forward to Joel. Then when somebody press 2, the call has to go to Brian. If they press 0, then the call has to go to Seishu. Then after that, click Save. Now click Apply. Now, I am going to associate 6500 to my incoming call route. So what you have to do, just go to the call control. Then if you see here, there is an incoming. So what we have done before, we have forward to the Seishu extension. But now what I am going to do, I am going to do some changes here. So for that, what you are going to do, let's go here. The destination, instead of forwarding the extension, I am going to forward to IVR. So here I am going to select the IVR as 6500. Then after that, click save then click apply now whenever somebody calls then let's see what's going to happen so now what i'm going to do now i'm going to call to my home i mean my lab number so let's give you a call hi welcome to dvcom technology if you know the extension please dial it now Press 1 for IT, press 2 for sales. Thank you for calling DBCom. So now I am going to press 1. See here, the phone Joel is ringing now. So now I am going to attend that call. Hi Joel. See there, you can able to see the resound because I am here in the same location. So now I disconnected the call. So this is what, how you can configure your own IVR and especially in as for PBX, it's very, very easy to configure and you can do whatever you want, especially the customization is more easy. 
and if you want to add more prompts you, you can able to add it in case if you want to upload it you can able to do that so thank you for watching this video for sales please send us an email sales at datawise.com